Hey guys, today's Tuesday, August the 29th of 2023, and I wanted to go over natural gas, but this time we're going to look at the geometry side of it, market geometry as I call it. A lot of this I learned from MSJ, from uh, WDGAN. So as you can hear, I'm also under the weather, so I'm trying to hang in there. But let's start off with the uh, uh, chart, and uh, this is a 45 degree scale chart. So everything is all being measured by 45 degrees. As you can see, we're below the 200. I think we're hovering above all the moving averages except the uh, 200. So that's why I have it there as an indication. So that's the only one we need to get above. And that's somewhere around 319. Uh, let's see. Let's start off with the computer. Neural net. Uh, it's indicating possible swing low or turning point or maybe nothing uh, September 1st. So keep an eye on that. That uh, looks like this Friday. It was not Friday, maybe Monday. So we'll see. Next thing, the GAN fans. Uh, as you can see, we kissed it here and failed. We're not even close. So we're on the weaker side. Uh, we pierced this, but we're just kind of going sideways. And squaring the range from this low to this high, this is where it gets a little more interesting. So let's see if we could kind of zoom in. So I want to show you the important stuff here. So you can see we popped up, came down. These are vector points. And now we're kind of hovering back and forth between this line, finding it as support. We popped on that August 9th, hit this angle, which is a 30 degree angle. Started, you know, selling off, found support again. Now we're testing that 30 degree angle. And I think this is a close from yesterday. So I don't have today's price action. So if we could get above that angle, uh, then, you know, using the game, uh, scoring the range, then we're probably going to be going and testing that level right there again. And you see the 200 is coming down, crashing. So it's all going to collide into the 200. So, but we're so far holding this level. So this is, this is good. Uh, that level right there is 249, and that, uh, this is the uh, one eighth, and this is the one six on the uh, squaring the range technique. It's 284. So there's the two levels, and this is the uh, 30, that's the 45, then that's the 60 right there. Let's continue. As you can see, this is uh, 45 degree, 30, 45, 60, and uh, we, we don't have an. We haven't even reached up there yet, but I had that just to see if we could. But the important one is this one, which is the low, the cash close low. And we pierced it on that August 9th uh, pop, but then fell right below it. So we're still back on the weaker side. So we're not, we're not very strong. We're still weak, but so far kind of holding off right here on this 248 level. Now you get more fractal, as I call it. You narrow, you start narrowing in between this high now and this low, and then you get more fractal. You get this low and this high, but this always fluctuates. You know that's why you always have to keep expanding it. But if you get the bigger high and the low, you know, in the uh, lowest low, that gives you a little more wiggle room. You know, with the uh, forecasting. As you can see, we're entering the center of the uh, scoring the range, which is uh, September third. So. A lot of a lot of things are gonna. It looks like a lot of things are cooking up for the first week of September. So I wanted to show you that. I don't know what's gonna happen. Is it gonna explode? Is it gonna be a low? Is it just gonna be nothing? We don't know, but we already know the indications that something is cooking. Uh, whatever it is, we'll see it in price action. So that's why I always say price action is king. Uh, and if you know these timing points, you know and you see the volume and everything, you got to take advantage. So September 3rd, that's a Sunday, so maybe Monday or maybe Friday, you know, if it falls on a weekend, so we'll see. But if we narrow in here, you see that uh, once we square the range from here, this low here, you see that this uh, vector point, which is the one eighth box, uh, got this nice little rally, you know, breakout, pulled back, Went all the way up, hit that high. That's the eighth, ninth high. And then we pulled back and now we're entering into this timing vector. You could call it an energy. You could call it a vibration, you know, whatever, you know, 
heejee-beejee name you want to give it. I'm cool with that. You know, my model. So whatever you want to kill it, you know, the woo-woo, the little woo-woo is coming up. Whatever it is, just remember that's the woo-woo. Uh, that's the one you want to keep an eye on right there. And uh, you got to keep an eye on this level right here. Which is 295 right there. Uh, what's next? The ellipse. Oh, no, that's a the ellipse. And then right here, we got this kind of zigzagging there. Uh, this was the one, this is the important one because this is from this high. And uh, I believe, I think it's from this low. Yep. And we're right below it right now. Maybe probably, you know, dipping back in your picture of like the big sun. We're dipping back in there. Uh, pitchfork, this is another important one. We're below it. So in regards to geometry, the 45, the 30, the 30 degree scale, we're below it. And, and on the pitchfork, we're below it here on this angle. So very weak in regards to price action and geometry. Advanced uh, support resistance from this two important swings, 258. Uh, we're kind of hovering around there, going back and forth. And then from the high to this low, you got 268 and support 235. And I just added this GAN fan from this uh, August 9th high. We're dancing around the 30. This is the 45. So this is showing me. It's narrowed in there so we kind of see what's going on. Um, this is showing me if we could get above the 30 and cross over the 45, that's a sign of strength. And if we could close above the 60, then that's really even better. The, the probabilities of us testing that 298 uh, or the 301, actually, you know, if you look at the uh, futures, uh, that's even greater once we could get over the uh, 45 and the 60 degree fan angle. Uh, I think that's it for here. I showed you that. I'm going to show you one thing I rarely show, but this is one of gangs. This is what Gan, you know, looked at and watched and kind of leaned on his uh, analysis on this and you know some of you might think this is a little little crazy but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and show it to y'all so this is uh what they call um a horizontal uh ephemeris and this is the sun and i want you to see something this is mercury every time mercury crosses over the sun i'm just going to use simple terms you kind of get it so once it crosses over like a you know moving average you see that Price action gets very like erratic. Uh, once this uh, Mercury crossed the sun here around 6:30 ish around there in June, you see that the, it kind of got weak and it kind of sold off, kind of went sideways. And then right here, Mercury is doing something around November, uh, September 6th. September, that's a Wednesday. So keep an eye on Tuesday, Wednesday. Something could be happening around there. You can see there's a lot of stuff lining up for the first week of September. So keep an eye on that. Uh, that's into the future. And then the next one, you know, we'll, I'll probably introduce it here and there. But I just wanted to show you, you know, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, September 6th, somewhere around there, 4, 6, 6, 4, 5, 6. It's not I don't know exactly when it happens. Sometimes it's two days earlier. Sometimes it's two days uh, later. I'm going to show you Venus. So Venus had a crossover somewhere around maybe uh, August 11th. And what was this high? The 9th? 9th, 10th? So maybe, you know, somewhere around there. Uh, 11. And then the next one, actually there's, there's no more from the sun. So interesting. There's one coming up in Mars, but that's way in November. So keep an eye on that. But the one that I want to watch is for the one that's coming up this week. Actually, next week, September the 6th. I think it's official when it does it. But keep an eye, which is uh, Wednesday. So keep an eye Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, let's see how this uh, technique uh, plays out. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to cover uh, besides. Uh, the uh, neural net that I already did. 
and I did all the geometry. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for me. I'm going to sign out. Interesting price action uh, these uh, last couple of days. So um, let's see what happens this week where we close. Hopefully you like this video and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on natural gas and the market geometry.